Bay ice base in the high Canadian Arctic, about 78 degrees north. The reason I'm here is to look at the effects of solar absorption of energy into the surface waters of the Arctic and its effect on sea ice melt. The absorption of solar energy into the surface waters of the Arctic is important because it can control warming and the rate of sea ice melt. And I'm interested in this because so far our models have been unable to predict the rate of sea ice melt. Sea ice has been melting much faster than we've been able to, to run predictions for. And I think that piece of the puzzle could be the absorption of solar energy into surface waters. And in fact, this value is much higher than we have previously assumed. So I'm here taking observations of just what's absorbing light and how much light is being absorbed within the ice and the surface waters underneath. Now that we have the core, we can start analysing it. The first part is to actually cut the core into different sections. I've been taking the first 20 centimetres, the middle 20 centimetres, and the bottom 20 centimetres. Bottom 20 centimetres of the core is the most important for my research, as that's where the single-celled algae live. They produce a material called coloured dissolved organic matter that absorbs light very strongly and can lead to heating. I'm going to melt each section of the core, filter it, measure the absorption of light within particulate and dissolved material. So this is what it takes to collect data up here in the high Arctic. Right now, it's about minus 20 degrees centigrade outside, but with the wind chill today, it's over minus 40 degrees. The data we've collected here today will help us understand how much solar energy is being absorbed into the Arctic Ocean.